Well, I've got no doubt that your beer is going to be great and you won't have any trouble. There are some things that can go wrong. The first concern you might have is that your beer is not fermenting. You won't see any signs of fermenting after an extended time and you think that your yeast isn't working properly and you've got issues. The first thing you need to do is work out whether it is fermenting or not. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The first way is to use your hydrometer and take a sample. You'll be able to see that the gravity has dropped slightly or you'll, you'll notice that the, the sample you take is carbonated, so you know that something's happening. The other sign that fermentation's happening is that there'll be a layer of yeast at the bottom of the fermenter. This is from the yeast multiplying and dropping to the bo bottom of the fermenter. The other thing you can look for is, if you're using cling wrap, you'll see a slight bulge on top of the fermenter. This means that pressure's been created as a yeast produced carbon dioxide. You can also smell your beer fermenting, so you'll smell a Depending on the beer, it'll be hoppy, um, yeasty, sort of multi sweet aroma. And you know that gas is pushing those smells out and something's happening. The final way to check is just to look for a dark ring of resin around the top of the fermenter. The bubbling action will take up hot resins and other matter and deposit this on the side of the fermenter. The simplest and most accurate way to check is using your hydrometer. If you've got no signs of activity after 24 hours, if you've cleaned and sanitised properly, chances are your beer's still going to be okay. The other issues that new home brewers, brewers hit is your beer's too carbonated. So you'll notice they'll be hard to pour, um, hopefully it'll be none exploding, but certainly the carbonation will be higher than it needs to be. There's a couple of reasons for this. The first one is that you're adding too much priming sugar when you're bottling. That's why I encourage you to use carbonation caps or priming tabs. These are a measured amount of sugar, so you just need to put them in the right amount to the right size bottle and your carbonation is going to be perfect. The other thing that might be happening here is this fermentation hasn't completed and there's still some sugar being carried into the bottle. This combined with the priming sugar you're adding in is going to create too much carbonation. Always measure your beer with your hydrometer to make sure that gravity has finished falling and it finishes about where you expect it to be. I've got some advice on how to deal with overcarbonated beer in the ebook that goes with this course, so have a read through, but hopefully you won't need to use it. On the flip side of this, some brewers find that their beer's flat. The most common reason for this is that the beers aren't sitting in an area warm enough once they've been capped. Fermentation needs to happen in the bottle, so the beers need to sit at a warm temperature so carbon dioxide can be produced and carbonate the beers. Some brewers aren't particularly happy with the taste of their beer, there's a range of reasons for this. Uh, the most common one would be a slight infection. So again, I encourage you to follow proper cleaning and sanitation techniques, and always be aware that the impact that um, stray microbes and, and wild yeast can have on your, your beer's flavour profile. If your yeast is working at too high a temperature, it can also create some flavours which aren't particularly pleasant. The other area where, where bad beer or, or ordinary beer might happen is that the ingredients just aren't a high quality enough. So I always encourage you to spend a few more dollars on ingredients, buy a premium product, uh, use fresh hops, use a premium yeast and your beer is going to be a better beer. If your yeast isn't working very well, this also gives an opportunity for an infection to happen. Microbes, bacteria, wild yeast, those sort of things can take control and have an impact on your beer's profile. I always recommend that you use enough healthy yeast for the beer to ferment properly and cleanly. Again, there's some more information on these in the free ebook which comes with this course.